Would you rather... Oh my God, didn't I nearly just cry? <laughs> Who remembers playing Would You Rather in the school playground? <laughs> the greatest form of mental combat known to man. I looked at this kid with joy and life in my eyes. I was like, oh, little man, I hope you brought your A-game because you have just stepped into the dojo with the master. Because this is what I do. If I'm in an uncomfortable social situation, I regress. I become the man-child again. And I don't want to do that for the rest of my life. I want to be that guy that can present a better version of himself when he's in public with his missus. So I was like, you know what? For once in my life, I'm just going to behave, OK? So my girlfriend, she's there with her friends from uni. They're all talking about some book that they've all read. And I'm over here just very politely drifting off into a coma. <laughs> it's fine. No one knows. I sleep with my eyes open. <laughs> All of a sudden, this little 13-year-old kid, okay, comes up to me like a serpent in the Garden of Eden. This kid walks up to me, right, prods me in the ribs, and he goes, Jack, would you rather... Oh, my God, didn't I nearly just cry? <laughs> Who remembers playing Would You Rather in the school playground? <laughs> the greatest form of mental combat known to man. I looked at this kid with joy and life in my eyes. I was like, oh, little man, I hope you brought your A-game because you have just stepped into the dojo with the master. <laughs> Cursory look over my left-hand shoulder would have informed me that the book club over here were very much aware that I had drifted off from their conversation in order to play a game of Would You Rather with a 13-year-old child. <laughs> but did I care? Did I f <laughs> I rolled the dice. I was like, hit me, little man, hit me. He looks up at me, he's like, Jack, would you rather suck chocolate off a tramp's d***? <laughs> oh, nice start, my friend, nice start. My head now a swirling vortex of counter questions. I'm thinking, is this milk chocolate or dark? Is this penis flaccid or hard? I'm thinking I really, really like chocolate, but I sure as hell am not a fan of dirty old tramp to my girlfriend for moral support, if anything else. Oh dear, whoop whoop, the fun police have surrounded the building. And they want me to come out with my hands held high. But I can't do that for two reasons. One, I do not know when the next opportunity will arise for me to play a game of Would You Rather Me Be? And two, more importantly, I cannot carry around the burden of not knowing what the alternative is to sucking chocolate off a tramp's so for the second time that evening, I rolled the dice. I was like, little man, you've made an excellent start. But you and I both know this game lives or dies by the quality of the next option that you laid before me. Yeah, not going to lie. By this point, the kid was quite scared of me. <laughs> tread very carefully, my friend. Tread very carefully. At this point, though, it was like the pupil became the master. This kid looked up at me unwaveringly. And do you know what he said? He went, Jack, would you rather suck chocolate off a tramp's d or have a tramp suck chocolate off your d Boom! Mind grenade! My face contorted in joy and wonder. Like the first time I'd seen boobies displayed on a calculator, I was like, what the f at this point, though, our game is brought to an abrupt end as I'm physically manhandled to the corner of the marquee by my girlfriend and told in no uncertain terms that as a responsible adult, I should have shut him down rather than ask the boy if the tramp had teeth. <laughs> I've made undignified exits in my time, but nothing compares to getting dragged, kicking and screaming from a Muslim wedding as you shout back to a 13-year-old kid, I'd suck the...